Outstanding Secretary and Treasurer of the North Carolina State NFL CIO, Mary B. McMillan.
can take the profits they make in North Carolina and they can put it onto the books of their subsidiary companies that are located in states where the income taxes are lower. That costs our state at least $100 million a year. Now you and I, we pay North Carolina taxes on the wages we earn in North Carolina. It shouldn't be any different for companies. Companies should pay North Carolina taxes on North Carolina profits. So we need to make sure that we close that loophole. And we've got to advocate strongly for a balanced approach to this budget, an approach that combines protection of public services with the principle of tax fairness and making corporations and those who can most afford it pay their fair share. So the budget is a major concern on our agenda. You heard Mike talk about important worker protections, like workers' compensation and unemployment insurance, and how important it is that we protect those. Well, in these tough economic times, it's important that we protect our rights, not just as workers, but as consumers. I mean, we all saw that Wall Street meltdown. We saw what subprime mortgages, easy credit, and those investment schemes could do to crash our economy and destroy families' lives. So as we have always done, we will lobby hard against predatory lending, against the unnecessary garnishment of wages, and against any kind of rip-offs and scams that threaten working families' financial security. So we are going to work hard to protect our rights as consumers. And finally, we're going to need to fight not just on a state level for policies that help working families, but also on a federal level. And tomorrow morning, we're going to spend time talking about all the federal issues that we need your help on. So I want to wrap up tonight by saying first to the union members here that if we want to make our working people's agenda a reality, if we want it to make progress, then every single one of you who are here tonight, you need to talk to your legislators, especially the legislators that aren't in this room. And you need to go back and you need to talk to your union members and to your friends and to your families about these issues because we've got to change the debate in this state and in this country so that what is the priority is what's best for working families. I'm going to need your help doing that because believe me, if we don't get out there and talk to legislators and talk to the general public, our side's not going to be told because the business folks, they're going to give an earful to legislators. But let's face it, there's a whole lot more of us workers than there are CEOs and business owners, right? So we should make our voices heard in proportion to our numbers. We've got to talk to legislators. They have to hear what it is like to lose a job. They need to hear how people are struggling with impossible choices, like do I pay the rent or do I take my sick child to the doctor? They need to hear how folks are struggling with health care costs. And to the legislators here, the reason we want you to hear our stories is so that you'll understand that we as workers matter. We're the ones who produce the goods and services our society depends on. We are the consumers who shop at the stores. We're the taxpayers who provide the revenue for government. We are the backbone of the economy. And when you take away our buying power, like all these job losses and decades of stagnating wages have done, the whole economy suffers, just like it did in this recession. Workers matter. And paying us less and less and taking away our rights is absolutely not how we rebuild the economy. The way we rebuild the economy is by passing policies like the ones on our working people's agenda. Policies that help working families and build a strong middle class. That's the message that we need to deliver to policymakers and to the general public. And it's not going to be an easy message to deliver, folks. We've got an uphill battle in front of us, and it's going to take us a while. But eventually, we're going to win. We will win because we are fighting for what's right. This is not about Democratic policies versus Republican ones. It's about what's best for working families, what's best for you and your families, for your neighbors, or for the folks who sit next to you at church. It's about good jobs, safe workplaces, and providing for the least among us. 
It's about doing the right thing, and that's something all of us should care about, regardless of our political party. That's the point that we need to deliver, and we need to make loud and clear to legislators to, and to our members. So I'm asking you to help me do that. Let's make our voices heard like never before, and let's make our working people's agenda a reality. Can I count on you to help me do that? Yeah. Yeah.